Hey everyone, I wanted to show you guys how to quickly get a uh, pretty accurate match between Substance Painter and 3D Studio Max, particularly in the uh, viewport. Um, it's, it's a pretty straightforward process thanks to Open Color IO, uh, that's ACES. Um, so let's, let's check this out. Um, basically, you'll want to make sure when you start your uh, substance project that you go into project config and assign OCIO, open color IO, as your uh, color manager. Um, and it's going to, uh, you know, uh, provide all these rules and definitions uh, for what type of textures get what sort of uh, assignment, you know, is it a utility map, is it a, um, you know, linear utility, or is it just a sRGB, and so on. Um, basically, all you need to do is just switch it to o OCIO, and don't, you know, you don't have to think about that anymore. Um, but yeah, so when you go to actually export these textures you will want to um, define well uh, I should say initially you should also define it prior what you're going to be using um, but basically it's going to be the PBR metallic roughness um, and I made a duplicate of that and kind of stripped some of the excess stuff from the names like the color space and the file name and whatnot uh, but yeah, I use that to export my textures. And uh, so if we go into Max, we'll just recreate that very quickly. Um, going to import the FBX that I used for, uh, for Substance. It's a purchased asset. It already came with some cool textures and stuff, but um, you know, I thought I'd give it a little twist. Uh, so just roughly getting the same angle right there. Right. So what we're going to use is something called the um, PBR importer. If you're using the slate material editor, it's under utilities, import PBR material. Uh, I'm just using the compact version, utilities, PBR importer. Now, um, this thing is pretty amazing. If you have a substance scene with, uh, you know, like 30 materials and tons of textures, hundreds of textures, whatever, it's a nightmare to do it manually. Um, you know, assign all those materials one by one, or maybe you don't have access to a, a script that you need to purchase or whatever. Th this comes with 3D Studio Max already. So it's, it's a hell of a lifesaver. And here in the settings, uh, it's, it's, it's going to tell you, hey, I'm looking for, um, you know, albedo, uh, diffuse, base color, and so on. Uh, in the file name for me to assign that texture to uh, the diffuse map. Um, you know, same for roughness. Is it roughness, rough, RGH, whatever. You could actually call it whatever you want. Let's, if you had ASDF in the file name of that texture, it's going to take that texture and throw it into the glossiness, for example. Uh, but I'll remove that. You could do it manually, one by one with files, but uh, we're going to do a folder. Uh, so I'm just going to point to that same folder which uh, the Substance Textures got exported to. And it's going to uh, list all of the texture sets um, that come out of it. So I'm not going to assign a material. We're just going to do a PBR material um, and then... Oh, prior to doing that, actually, let's do this. You're going to want to make sure your, your max is in the right color space. So if you go to um, rendering, color management, uh, switch that to OCIO, 3D Studio Max default. Um, a lot of fun stuff going on here you don't really need to worry about unless if you want to. Um, Let's go to OK. So you can see the viewport, the, the actual materials just got a bit darker. We just dived into uh, ACES workflow. 
But yeah, uh, now we could go in and create these six materials. Cool. Um, I'm going to select these guys and grab the materials that are currently assigned to it, load them up here. Uh, the first two materials, the A map and the B map, are basically being instanced into uh, these other materials. So let me throw these two up here for reference in case we need it. But these are the PBR materials that got generated. I won't be needing these. Uh, so let's just disregard that. Uh, it's a PBR node. Pretty straightforward. This map goes here, that map goes there, yada, yada. So you know, copy this and do a paste instance into here. That way it flows into the other shaders. Uh, same with this B map, copy, paste, instance. And uh, things are looking promising, but um, it's a bit too bright on the uh, albedo in particular. So what we need to do is, uh, because, 3D Studio Max's bitmap loader, it doesn't have like uh, actual color space um, transfers or, or assignments. Uh, we need to use an OSL um, map for that. So if you go to maps, OSL, values, uh, we're going to use a Uber bitmap, right? And you need to point that back to um, a map base color. So... Let's do that. And now it knows based on um, the color management here, uh, you know, JPEGs, PNGs, they're all going to get an sRGB auto assignment. And that's what that auto is right there. Um, otherwise, what we were just seeing was a um, linear version, I guess you could call it. Um, but yeah, it, what we want is sRGB for our color maps everything except the normals. Um, so let me just double check if the normals got busted. Yeah, the normals were good to begin with, so we don't need to do anything there. Uh, same here. Let's switch this to Uber bitmap and select B map uh, base color. Discard that old map. Great, uh, we're getting there, almost there. Next up is uh, rendering, environment. I want to use the same exact environment map that I used from Substance, just so I, I know things are as close as possible. And uh, you can find that, you can snatch it from Substance's library here. I'll just leave that on the screen for a second. Uh, basically, program files, Adobe, Substance 3D Painter, resources, starter assets, environments, and then there's, um, you know, the exterior HDRs, the interior HDRs, studio. Um, but what we need is just the uh, exterior one. So in this case, I'm just going to use the um, default bitmap loader and select that same map, which is called Mondorain 3. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Uh, but yeah, here we go. So automatic, again, you can see um, tech preview, OCIO, it's, it's going to do it for you. You don't have to go through that guessing game, like is it linear, is it this, is it that. Um, <clears throat> so we, we, we just got that in there. I'm going to um, instance that map here and set this to negative one. For some reason, the spherical mapping always you have to flip it on the U. Um, okay, so let's close that out and let's find this guy here and line things up. So I'm gonna use the uh, U offset. Let's see if we can find them. Um, looks like I passed them already. There he is, there's our friend, okay. <clears throat> so, um, I think we could go to the Tada moment and switch from standard to high quality now. And hopefully, 
we'll have something a lot closer to this now. 